If you use classic hard rosin for tinning, you can put some solder on the tip of the iron and just dip the wire into rosin. Then do the tinning. The second option is to feed solder directly to the conductor while tinning. The soldering iron and solder wire should be on the opposite sides of the workpiece. There's also this great thing called liquid rosin flux. It's really cheap, but it works flawlessly. It can even be used on soldering surface mount components SMDs, if they're large enough. Or you can buy dedicated SMD flux for that. Liquid rosin also does great job removing shorts between conductors that accidentally stuck together during soldering. Just put some flux on the sticking point and heat it with a soldering iron. After you've finished your soldering job before powering up the circuit, don't be lazy performing a couple of checks with a multimeter to make sure the short was completely removed. You'll save yourself tons of time replacing the burned out components.